Hello and welcome to this week's non-Texas orientated video. Although it does involve a lot about Texas. So here we are, we have my guitar case here, which came with the guitar as well, which is over there. It's on my wonderful Texan bed. So I'm going to open it up and show you what I had. Nicely, this is a nice hard case, which could mean that I can fly my guitar back home, which would be great if I want to. So, on the inside, provided me with a bit of sheet music, uh, not sheet music, some guitar chord patterns, whatever. Uh, the complete guitar ebook, uh, fretable turbo, the reference guide to music, which I haven't really had a look at. I ought to at some point. Nice case. It's in good condition. Cleaning cloth. Some strings there, Martin and Co. Strings, they're 0.12 light, 0.54. And these ones are custom lights, which are 0 0.11 and 0.52. So that means the E, by the way, the high E which is your thin E is 0.11 or 0 0.11 and low E is 0.02. So there are the strings. Inside here is my lovely strap, which I haven't actually fitted yet. Probably won't fit because I don't play, uh, like publicly. And in here, I've got some More little plectrums as well, including one that I may have. Sorry. I can focus one which I may have robbed from the local guitar centre in Houston. But what? So, yeah, that's my guitar case. Oh, and I also, over here, got a wonderful little guitar stand as well. And to go with my guitar stand, I could have had a music stand, which I probably should have taken because I've got a friend that could have done with one. I didn't need it, but then I feel bad because I didn't really need it, so why should I have taken that from somebody else when they can sell it on? But you never mind. Anyway, that's this. So straight back to the video. So yeah, I didn't exactly 
do too bad. And I'm just glad that finally I've got something that I can do in my room so that I've got something that will keep me a bit more motivated and give me something to do because I haven't got my modelling stuff and yeah, sometimes it gets a little boring especially when you've done a load of work and you just need something to relax and take your mind off things so I'm glad I've gone and got my brand new guitar Secondly, what I'm going to talk about is some stuff I've ordered off Amazon to go with this lovely baby. And this is kind of a bit of a review, actually. Because what I did was, I was really cheap. I needed a capo, because a lot of the songs I play are with capo. And I decided, in case anything goes wrong with this guitar as well, because there are a couple of issues, like, I've got a problem with the action. The action is way too high. Thanks, computer. The action is way too high on this guitar. So I've decided that I need to do a couple of adjustments to it. So I bought myself this wonderful little kit, which I'm going to explain to you now. It's from Jetex. Jetex. Uh, it's a 41-piece guitar string set. It was around 14 I think $15. It's not great, but to be honest, I would recommend this for a student, because especially if you can't afford things. You, maybe you're starting out, or you like me, and you're starting off in a new location where you're probably not going to take a lot of this stuff back. So it's not really worth paying a load of money for something that you're going to get rid of at the end of the year. That's why I got this and there's some things that I want to discuss about it. I'll just give you a show of what's inside and what comes with the kit because, you know, be interested. And I ought to leave a review on Amazon as well for it. So I'll open it up. It's the first time I've ordered on Prime and that was interesting because it took a few days to arrive more than expected. So I've actually got 12 lots of bridge pins, so I have my white set, which I don't think actually fit this guitar. Oh my. I, I don't know whether they fit. They probably do. I'm hoping they do, but if they don't, they don't. They might put my guitar at home. One well, needs a new bridge pin. Probably cheap, but who cares? That's not why I bought it for. Got some plectrums, and there's nine actually in this pack, and I prefer quite sturdy plectrums. I've got these Dunlop, which are 0.73mm plectrums, which I am not so keen on, which came with the guitar. These are probably 08 so there ain't much difference, but you can see. Actually, they're a lot thicker. They're a lot more sturdy than these. These have got some good give, but for an acoustic, I prefer ones that are a bit more tough. But that's that's just me. The capo, it's not the best, but it's certainly not bad. Uh, if I put the capo on the guitar. What I have found is that it's nice to have it, you pretty much have to press it right up against the metal thread. I play a C there. It sounds nice. You do get a slight bit of a buzz, there is a slight buzz on it on E, which I can't seem to get rid of. Maybe if I adjust the capo a bit more. I think it must... You still get that slight buzz. If you adjust it so that it's literally over the fret there, so it's at a slight angle, unless you're playing maybe an F, that sounds 
through that. But if you're playing an F, then maybe it will cause a little issue. But generally, it's okay for the money. And you can see the plectrum does sound rather nice. Winder, cutter and bridge pin tool. Useful. Like I say, I wanted this just in case I do have any problems with the guitar. I didn't want to spend loads of money because I may not need it over here and I've got stuff like that at home. And finally, three lots of strings. So those ones look not too bad. Same with these. But multicoloured guitar strings. Which, to be fair, I may fit as a practical joke. I don't know what they'll be like, they're probably not great. They're not exactly great colours either, but I guess they'd be good for somebody that's learning guitar on steel string, which I wouldn't recommend anyway. I'd recommend nylon to learn guitar. But you know, that's just me. So yeah. So then, I'll discuss a couple of things that have happened the last couple of days. So today, it is Monday the 12th of November. Uh, today, I have had a law lecture by some people that came from my home university in Swansea, which was really nice, finally to see some familiar faces, some familiar accents, and they brought the weather with them. Not so great, but you know. What else has happened? Uh, Friday was a good day. I went segwaying in downtown Houston, did the Buffalo Bayou. Uh, interesting, some interesting information, some interesting sites. Definitely I recommend doing it and I'm going to probably do some sort of walking around downtown when the weather gets nicer because I would really like to show that off to you guys and I think it'd be a nice experience of Texas and an experience of Houston a bit of a travel thing as well as just for me, just for memories well as that, I have been to the homecoming game or UH Cougs lost the homecoming, which weren't, I mean, the score did get much better than it was. They were playing Philadelphia, Philly Temple, which is in Philadelphia, by the way. Uh, yeah, it weren't great, but like I say, I've got some clips of that, especially because I am amazed by the marching band that they have here at the university and apparently they have uh, many events across Texas and the United States. We don't have marching bands in our country. We d yeah, we do for the Scouts, but I don't really know if or like organisations like that. For universities and things, absolutely nothing. Nothing for schools. Maybe that would be something that would be really nice to have in the UK because I'm absolutely fascinated by it. And I met a couple of friends that are in the band and people can't believe that it's something we don't have. So yeah, it's that's been interesting. Uh, I just absolutely love it and I'm really getting into like the songs and all the little bits because, I don't know, there's something calming and something exciting about having it there. So that is my Texan experiences for the week. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. It's been a bit of a mashup of a few different things. Uh, the next couple of weeks, it's Thanksgiving. I'm going to be writing a load of papers. It won't be long until it's Christmas. I'm doing some meals. We've got the final game here at UH on Thursday before this video actually comes out. So that I'm really looking forward to. I'm sad because it'll be one of the last times I see the marching band because they don't really do anything next semester and I think it's just such a great thing to have. So yeah, anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. 
and I hope there'll be some more text and experience videos coming up soon. If you have, make sure you give me a big like down below because it really does help. It keeps me motivated to make more videos and it's really hard to get motivation sometimes, especially at the moment because of what I've been through the last week, week and a half. Uh, so that would be really appreciated. If you want to subscribe because you're new to the channel, please make sure you do. There's plenty more content that are on my videos, so please check them out. It really does help. Leave a comment down below and you can follow me on both Twitter and Snapchat. I've been on Snapchat a bit more than I have Twitter recently. Uh, that will probably be winding down because I'm still keeping away from social media really at the moment. Uh, I'm talking to people, I have been putting a couple of things on Snapchat, it's been quite busy the last couple of days, but that will be going off soon again. And yeah, it really does help. Like I say, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and hopefully I will see you with a new video in the next couple of weeks. So look out for that, and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.